everyone, it's Jonesy. Thanks so much for tuning in to my channel and let's jump right into this tutorial. I'm going to start with the Tea Tree and Lemon Sage Shampoo. This is by Ren Pure Advanced. I absolutely love it. You've seen me use it in previous videos. I use it on my hair and I use it on my crochet hair. So this video is me showing you how super easy it is to keep your crochet wigs clean, ladies and men. We have to make sure that we are keeping it clean because it is sitting on our scalp. So after I fill a bowl with water, you can use warm or cool water that has no effect on the hair in my opinion. I add a little bit of the tea tree and lemon sage shampoo and I'm going to go with two to three capfuls of apple cider vinegar. The reason why I'm adding the apple cider vinegar when I'm washing my crochet hair uh, in this video is because I wore my crochet hair a lot this past week. I went on a lot of auditions and I've been making sure that I oil my scalp underneath and a lot of that oil um, had floated into the wig especially the wig cap so what I'm going to do now is just grab my crochet wig and I'm going to put it into the bowl that has the shampoo water and apple cider vinegar <laughs> As I stated, my wig cap was full of oil, y'all. So I want to make sure that I'm putting some extra shampoo directly onto the wig cap, really working the oil out of that. Um, I wore this wig almost every day this week. As I said, I had a lot of auditions and it was just full of all the oil from my scalp and my hair. And I really wanted to work that wig cap and make sure I got it all off. So look how gross this water is, y'all. This is only from one week of wearing my wig. This is from one week. I mean, our skin, our hair, our scalp, you know, that accumulates so much oil and so much product. And when you are wearing a wig, it goes directly into that wig cap and it floats onto the hair that is connected to that wig cap. So I really want you guys to make sure that you are washing your wigs. Wash them weekly. If you can't do it weekly, don't let more than two weeks go without washing it. So right now I'm doing my first rinse. I like to do a few rinses on my wigs. I don't like to do just one rinse because I feel that that's not enough. So I'm just rinsing with cool water, starting from the wig cap and just squeezing the hair of excess water. So I'm going to refill my bowl and I'm going to let the wig sit in the water for a few minutes because I want all that excess dirt or oil that can still be hanging on to the hair to be able to release itself. As you can see here, the water is still a little bit gray because the excess dirt and oil that is trapped in the wig is not released in just one rinse. You definitely want to do several rinses and make sure that you are soaking the wig and the wig cap underneath the water and getting all that trapped dirt and oil. Now that we have washed, soaked, and rinsed our wig, I just like to roll mine into a terry cloth towel, nothing special. And what I like to do is open the wig, spread it out completely, and allow it to dry overnight. You can also hang the wig. Um, it's summertime in Los Angeles right now, so 
I definitely will hang a wig and it'll dry very quickly. I had time. I wasn't going to be wearing this the next day. So I spread it out and just let it dry overnight. And that's it, y'all. That's how easy it is. You can do this with your wigs. In one day, just wash all of them. Get it done. Lay them out to dry and be popping. Okay, I, I tried to sound cool. That was not that cool. But you know what I mean. <laughs> Okay everybody, so it is a couple days later. I am headed into work, so I will be wearing my crochet wig today. This is what my hair looks like underneath my wig. Um, after I wash my hair, I deep condition, I apply a leave-in conditioner and an oil, and I flat twist my hair. So I do a row of flat twists going to the right and left side, and then flat twist the back of my hair in sections. If you watch my previous video on how to maintain your hair underneath your wig, you will see how I maintain and keep moisture in my hair, and how I achieve this hairstyle. So what I do is I gather all of the twists individually and just roll them together to create a flat twist that connects as one. So what I do is I just gather the hair from both sides of my hair, roll it in between my fingers, create one big twist on both sides of the hair and then connect it in the middle. how simple and easy it is to create this style you know gathering all your twists connecting them in the middle adding a few bobby pins boom you already have a hairstyle that you can wear on your own and it's super easy to create so that you can just throw your wig on top and it helps the wig to lay flat against your head so after I put my twist into this style I'm just gonna go ahead and apply my crochet wig it's really important that you wash your crochet wigs and human hair wigs, whatever wigs you're wearing. It's really important that you wash them. You don't want your scalp to have dryness, flakiness, bald patches. You don't want to lose hair over your protective style. It is very important to wash your wigs. I want y'all all to thrive and maintain. I want your natural hair to be long, beautiful, and nourishing. And that cannot happen if you are not protecting your scalp and your hair. So make sure you are washing any type of wig or weave hair that you have on your head. So you can see that the curls in my crochet wig are bouncy, flourishing. I did not have any frizziness and it did not affect the wig in any negative way. I know some people are a little bit scared of washing their crochet hair, but ladies and guys, wash it, okay? You need to maintain your scalp and your natural hair underneath your wigs and you want to make sure that Again, you are flourishing. You are using this protective style for a reason, right? So make sure that you're protecting your scalp and your hair. You wanna wash those wigs, let them air dry, and then put it on and be popping. I mean, look how beautiful this hair is. Nice, nourished, shiny, and more importantly, clean. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that this helped you. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I really appreciate all the love that my videos have started to receive, and I really appreciate all of you. Go ahead and connect with me on my blog, to toliveindaytonla.co, and on Instagram at to toliveindaytonla. Thanks for watching, and have a blessed day, y'all.